Stage blood and a rubber hand, not exactly a common sight in a sterile medical room. But these are just some of the tools of the trade for Mayo Clinic's Amy Lannan. If you walk up to somebody and you see a giant bleeding wound on their face, you're going to react a lot differently to that person than if you just walk up and they're smiling. She's self-trained in moulage, the practice of crafting fake wounds for medical training. If you can describe it to me in enough detail or show me enough pictures, I can probably simulate it. Challenge accepted. The scenario for Lannon, I punched a wall after the Jaguars loss, primarily a knuckle impact. She layers different colors of makeup and blends it to give it a lifelike look. If you come to the Sim Center and I stress you out because I've made a really realistic facial wound and then you encounter that wound in real life, you'll remember your reaction and your learning. She says to look away and trick your brain into an authentic reaction. A single ply of tissue paper over some Vaseline makes an eerie burn. Just scratching the surface of her skills, Lannon also helps run simulations in the newly expanded space where mannequins can mimic symptoms that doctors diagnose and learn best practices when dealing with patients. So those high-risk, low-occurrence items that you might not encounter in the real world, we can schedule them here. Adding that about 900 people each month take advantage of that training. In Jacksonville Beach, Alex Osaitis, First Coast News, on your side.